Just a little bit of video of my 1964 and a half Mustang convertible. It's no barn find, but it is in my old garage here that, um, of course, houses my first bicycle. But um, let me pull this car out and get some video of it. So I bought this uh, Mustang in December of 1980. It was the first car that I ever owned. I was 16 years old and this car cost me every bit of money that I had. I paid $1,825 for it and uh, it was in, in pretty nice condition. Uh, it was uh, missing a couple hubcaps but uh, had a couple of the wire wheel Hubcap still there, and uh, other than that, was pretty pretty nice car. This car was built on April 29th, 1964. It's got a 260 V8, three-speed um, manual transmission. Uh, actually, does have the rally pack, pad advisors, radio and backup lights uh, along with wire wheel covers. Uh, Mustangs went on sale on April 17th and this car was built on April 29th so not sure if it would have been ordered on the first day or so or whether it was still a car that was just built by Ford to specs for sale in the, in the dealership. Um, I stopped driving this car in, uh, I guess it was 1982, and started taking it apart to clean things up and restore it, uh, work on the motor, and pretty much uh, that's the way the car's been ever since then. Um, haven't, haven't really driven it since uh, out on the road much but uh, try to get it out every every now and then. It's got the, like I said, the 260 V8. Still has the original uh, generator on there and uh, rubber flap for the generator. In fact, I haven't, um, haven't changed that generator the whole time I've owned this car since 1980. Uh, still works just fine. Um, in fact, not too much did I change it all on this car? Um, did put in a uh, new interior kit, uh, but things like the radio is still originally date coded to the original, uh, originally when it was put in, and it still works. It's just the AM radio. And um, that's really about it. Just a really. Um, just a really straight car that I really enjoyed driving when I bought it at age 16 and like I said took it apart and started uh, started just making sure it was all in nice shape. Had it painted in 1984 um, and uh, probably could use another another paint job. I did put on a, a new top and um, like I said, not too, too many options on the car, uh, but it did have these wire wheel hubcaps, and I can certainly understand why they got rid of them after just a, or stopped uh, this design after just a few months. Uh, one of the books I have say that they made these on April, uh, April to May, and like I said, one of these, was, or a couple of these were still on the car. Um, but this car has all the 64 features like a uh, immovable passenger seat and um, the uh, gas cap that doesn't have a wire on it. Uh, there's just so many, so many changes that they did between 64 and 65 and this car is pretty early so really has them all. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out some of my other videos for some of my old cars and old houses and old mobile homes.